The concept of zero, or the absence of value, is integral to our modern mathematical system. But where did it come from? The story of zero dates back thousands of years to ancient civilizations in India and the Middle East. In the early days of counting, people would use tally marks to keep track of quantities. However, this method had its limitations. It was difficult to do complex calculations, and numbers could not be easily manipulated. The ancient Indian civilization of the Indus Valley was one of the first to develop a system of numbers. They used a decimal system with ten symbols, including a symbol for zero. This was a significant development, as it allowed for the creation of larger numbers and more complex calculations. The concept of zero then spread to the Middle East, where it was further developed by Arab mathematicians. In the 9th century, a Persian mathematician named Al-Khwarizmi wrote a book called Kitab al-Jabr wa al-Makabala, which translates to The Book of Restoration and Reduction. This book introduced the concept of algebra and also popularized the use of zero in mathematical equations. Zero then made its way to Europe in the 12th century, where it was met with resistance from some mathematicians and philosophers. They believed that zero represented nothingness and therefore could not be a number. It was not until the 16th century that zero was fully embraced in Europe, thanks in part to the work of Italian mathematician Gerolamo Cardano. The invention of zero revolutionized mathematics, paving the way for complex calculations and the development of new branches of mathematics such as calculus. It also had practical applications in areas such as astronomy and architecture. Today, zero is an essential component of our number system, used in everything from simple addition and subtraction to advanced physics equations. It is also used in computer programming, where it is used to represent both the absence of value and the presence of a binary digit.